Dang, Gardenia really isn't playing with these Mons. Uh, let's go ahead and Fire Fang this, obviously, as... Whoa, Technician! What is going on, YouTube? Chizzy here, and I'm back with another episode of Pokemon Renegade Platinum Nuzlocke. And today, we do have a lot to take care of. Number one being Team Galactic. They're up to no good. I feel like there's some funny business with them that we ought to take care of. And number two, the gym leader isn't even in the town. She's definitely scared of us. She knew we were coming. So she went ahead and dipped to another route. So we actually got to go grab her, retrieve her, and make her give us that badge. Not by force, just by battling. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, but that being said, before all that, I just want to say thank you for the support as always, you guys. I really do appreciate it. And this series isn't quite getting the numbers that Emerald Kaizo is. Um, I guess people just really like Emerald Kaizo. I can't do anything about that. But I will try to put a like goal on this video. I do apologize. I know you guys hate when I do that, but... Let's try to get this video to 180. I don't think that's too much to ask for just because that's that's like less than 10% of the views anyways. So if just 10% of you click that button, we're already looking good. All right, so let's try to make it to 180. Anyways, we got business to take care of, as I said. So let's go ahead and check out the top of the town. We checked out the bottom already in the last episode. And clearly we haven't because of the fact that Gavin just initiated this cutscene with another thud. Always running into us. Why are you so clumsy, man? Of course Gavin would run into me. Honestly, no, but let's do it. I do remember there was a statue in this town of... What is that? Is that Palkia or Dialga? I don't even know. <laughs> I can't really tell. Someone's gonna like roast me in the comments, but... Regardless. Oh, there's Cyrus. I didn't even see him. And his blue hair. I should have seen him right away. This is Eternus Pokemon statue shaping our world. Our time and space. Okay, so there's the whole time and space thing with Giratina featuring... Dialga and Palkia that he's so interested in and we know nothing about yet. Oh, this time he made me move! You guys remember from the first episode, he made Gavin move out of the way and I was like, ooh, Gavin, you're lame, but no, it was us this time. <laughs> what the heck is he on about? Gavin is such a weirdo, dude. He knocks into me and he goes, oh wow, I just remembered something. Like, what? Uh, okay. Hey, in a perfect world, that would happen, but you know me and my hacks, it's never gonna happen. So we go over to the left, and my favorite character of all time, we see our girl Cynthia. Let's go. That device you have, is it a Pokedex? Wow, it brings back some memories. She's like, I've been caught every single Mon ever. Okay, hello, Chizzy. I'll be sure to remember that name. Dude, I'm your biggest fan. Like, this is a real one. This is a real celebrity right here. She recognizes the names of her fans. That's what's up. My name is Cynthia, I'm a trainer just like you, and she's trying to like belittle herself to our level. Oh, come on Cynthia, we know you're the champion. Who knows, you may encounter something like it while you're traveling with your Pokedex, blah blah blah. And she just gives us a reward too. What? I've done nothing to deserve this besides being your biggest fan. But that's really cool because we do get cut, and I believe in this game they actually change it to be a grass type move with a little bit higher accuracy, I want to say. So that's pretty cool that she gave us that. All right, you guys, so we are on a new route, Route 211 right here, so I can get a first encounter. But before that, I do want to show you guys this. Technically, these two pawns right here do count as Eterna City because of the fact that they're in the city. But really, I don't really want a level 10 Magikarp right now because that's really all you're going to get from these pawns. Plus, apparently there's a gift Pokemon in the city too. And I don't know what it is yet, but it sounds cool. It de definitely sounds better than a level 10 Magikarp. Gyarados is cool, but it's kind of overused. So I don't really want that we're just gonna go ahead and see what we get from route 211 so this is a new grass patch there's some pretty cool stuff in here i'm really excited and we get swablu as our encounter that's really cool i was gonna say i wouldn't have complained much there was only one troll pokemon which was a chingling and i didn't really want to try Mako, but swablu i'll take it you know why this thing actually becomes a dragon fairy when it evolves they definitely did buff altaria which is very cool and it's going to hurt itself in confusion, so that makes me a little worried to go for a Water Pulse. I don't want to get max damage and kill it, so I'm just going to go for a... Gu Actually, hopefully Gus doesn't put it in confusion range. Okay, good, it definitely doesn't. Disarming Voice, go ahead. Apparently this is now a Fairy type. Uh, it's a Fairy flying as a Swablu and a Dragon Fairy as an Altaria. So let's go ahead and throw a Pokeball at it, and boom, it looks like we caught it on our first try. That is awesome. Again, this thing is now Fairy flying, which is definitely new. So I do like the changed Pokemon in this game. I really want to use it as well. And again, when it becomes Altaria, it's like it's Mega. It becomes Dragon Fairy. So that's really cool. I got a really dope nickname for this one, y'all. I'm going to pull out the Cloud Puns real quick. We're going to go with... 
<laughs> I love this one. Oh my goodness, if I could only type. Seriously? Seriously? Get it? Because a serious cloud is like the really thin ones. I paid attention in science class, alright? Actually, let's put a question mark on it too. So it's more like genuine. Seriously? Hey, that science class does come in handy, y'all. Pay attention in class. So as you guys all know, I really care about natures and stuff like that, so I always want to make sure to check out the Pokemon before we keep going. Let's see what the Swablu is. Hopefully it's good, because we've had some really good natures the past couple episodes. We've been really lucky, so... We get... Okay, we get mild. That's actually not bad at all. I'll take that. Um, Altaria, I believe, is more of a special attacker in this game just because of the fact that they buffed it. So I'm actually good with plus special attack. That's really good. Minus defense is kind of bad just because this thing already doesn't have the best defenses. It's better on the spit F side. So I might not take hits very well. That's the only thing. But I'm down. Let's go ahead and... Hey, maybe we can use this very soon. For now, I'm still keeping the same squad. But trust me, I got some hitters in the back. I feel like Swablu and Rotom are going to be on the team very soon. Plus the fact that I'm going to be facing Gardenia. So maybe having another flying over my fish... Might be good. Now that we've gotten our first encounter on Route 211, we gotta keep it moving. And it looks like actually this is it for Route 211. I already see the cave and I'm pretty sure that's Mount Coronet. Yes, so that is where we definitely need to go. I know that, but I do see two trainers. So I'll just go ahead and battle them. Why not get a little bit more experience for my guys. See how Mount Coronet towers above us. I, I can't really see because it's not that 3D of a game yet, but sure, Hiker Luis or Luis. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and water pulse this Geodude easily. Again, I'm giving Gilbert some love before I more than likely will withdraw it because against a grass type gym leader, it's not going to be doing anything but be fodder. So I definitely don't want that. And they're actually going to send out a Beldum here. I'm going to go to Monferno and this is just giving me flashbacks right now. Man, if only, if only I had just kept that Beldum on my team. I'm still so upset. If you guys are, don't know what I'm talking about, in episode 3, I actually got a sick Beldum with its hidden ability, which is exclusive to this game. And that specific ability would turn into Iron Fist for Metagross, which boosts its attacks crazily. I really wanted it. I was super excited. I was, I was actually, like, jumping in my seat. And then out of nowhere, boom, it just dies to a wild Pokemon, not even to a trainer. So that was just really bad, and I have not recovered from that. Alright, and we have another trainer over here. I don't know what she's talking about, but Alexandra. Okay, she's talking about her own Pokemon. Cool. Not too. I'm not too worried about this not to. <laughs> uh, even though it should probably miss Air Cutter. Great. Okay, well, never mind. I was going to say, if... There's no way they could have killed me. No, nah, there's no way. Okay, Swablu comes out. A. Hey. We're already experienced with these uh, Swablu since we have our own. Actually, it's going to have high speed F, so... I got a nice crit. Guys, I'm kind of haxing them low-key, but... That did 19 damage, and I don't think my Water Pulse will kill now. So I'm not going to risk Gilbert. Let's go ahead and switch... Into our Glaceon. I think that's just better. Because I can take any hit that I want. And then just go for an Icy Wind. Yeah. That was actually scary, so Swablu's kind of nice. Maybe our Pluck will... Do a, a lot of things to uh, the Grass Gym, maybe. So Staravia's gonna come out, I'll just stay in. They got birds on birds on birds, but I can just Icy win all of them. That HP bar went down straight up. And... What did she just say? Did y'all see that? She said, I'm gonna peck you for that. Very interesting uh, choice of vocabulary there. Anyways. Ooh, you can get TM12 Taunt here, so that's actually good. And let me tell you why, because TMs are unlimited in this game, so technically, I can delete Taunt off of Monferno now, and anytime I really need it, I can just put it back on. You know what I mean? So, that's really cool. I really do like the way TMs are unlimited in this game. Alright you guys, so we have healed up. We are now at Mount Coronet, which technically is a new encounter spot. Now, I was kind of debating this just because of the fact that Mount Coronet is huge. It's one of the biggest mounts in the entire Pokemon series, like completely. And while I would like to get the first encounter in here, because it's so big, we can actually get a better Pokemon later, maybe like at the top of it. But that being said, it takes a long time before you can access it. So, and honestly, I looked at the documentation. Most of them are just evolved forms of the stuff you can get now anyways. So I don't think it's worth using all those repels. We're just going to go ahead and, oh wow, I, I randomly clicked on this rock and I got an invisible item. Cool, energy powder. I don't know what that does. I think it's like a like a bitter medicine or whatever. But 
I changed my mind. I actually am going to go get the first encounter in this mountain. I think it's just fine. And the good thing is, Species Claws will activate, so I don't have to worry about getting Geodude or Zubat and crying to death. So instead, let's go ahead and see what we can get in here. Hopefully there's something else that's cool. And we get a Bronzor. Okay, that's actually not too bad. This actually makes up for the Beldum that I lost, because it's still a Steel Psychic. Now, obviously, Bronzong is no Metagross. But let's just go ahead and go for a Water Pulse. It's definitely not going to kill. I do want to catch this thing. I get a Confusion right off the bat again, which is great, and they miss Hypnosis. I am just hacksing the computer right now. Let's go for one more Water Pulse. I know that seems silly because of the fact that I could obviously kill it with a crit. But I don't know. When you feel it, you feel it. You know, I just knew I wasn't going to crit it. Now we're going to throw a Pokeball. The other thing is, I hope this is Levitate and not Heatproof. I mean, both are good, don't get me wrong, but Levitate is an immunity, Heatproof is a resistance. All right, you guys, so you know me. I have to go back and check the natures and abilities. I just care so much. I have this weird OCD thing about it, so I did want to check out our Bronzer that we just caught. And it is Docile, so neutral nature, which is still fine. And it's got Levitate. Okay, so that's actually decent. I feel like we could actually use this in the near future. So that's very cool, just in case our Pokemon die and stuff like that. The other thing that I did want to tell you guys is I deposited Gilbert. I know you guys, Gilbert is a fan favorite, of course, but I do want to train up my Swablu a little bit just because of the fact that we're going to be taking on a grass gym and really I'm not going to be using Gilbert. So I do want to try my best to train up Swablu a little bit right now. Go ahead and check it out. I actually don't know how far we're supposed to get in here. I just know that this is the only place I'm supposed to go right now as we get a Moonstone and there's tons of items. A TM69 Rock Polish as well, so we get ourselves TM69. That could actually be useful for Grottle maybe in the future, so that's good to know. See, this is another area, but it's not going to count because we already did Mount Coronet. Let me put up another Repel because of that. I'm not going to be catching any Pokemon. Let's see what's popping over here. I see a Team Galactic guy. Oh boy, I guess we have to do battle. Nope, maybe not. They're just doing research. Okay, I guess we probably don't need to bother them yet. Let's get that item really quick. Wait, there's nothing in here. What the heck? Oh, there is something. There's TMO2 Dragon Claw, which we can actually teach to Altaria when the time comes. All right, y'all, so instead of going down, we're going to go to the right. There is an escape rope here, which we'll definitely use later, not now. Dude, I'm so good at finding invisible items. Any like, have, do you guys have, I, I feel like my sixth sense, like everyone has like the sixth sense, right? Mine is finding hidden items. Notice I didn't even talk to any of the other rocks. I just went straight to this one and I knew. It, it, there's something about it like it's like the rocks that aren't hugging anything like you see how those other two or the, these other four are all hugging something this one's kind of out in the open i just had a feeling more mount coronet so it doesn't count for encounters and we get soft sand that's actually really solid for future torterra so that's cool and more items wow and my repels are just Oh, there's a Prism Scale. Now that is used to evolve Feebas. You can get Revive over here. I'm just overwhelmed with how many items there are. There's a Light Clay. So there's tons of competitive items early. I feel like these are all added in by the ROM Hacker. I don't remember getting th this many back when I used to play this. Look at this, full restore, they got everything. All right, you guys, so we've made it to the exit that we're supposed to go to for now, which takes us over to another part of Route 211. We just did Route 211, so I cannot catch anything here if there's any grass which there is down here. And I also see a ton of trainers, so we might as well get our training in, guys. I mean, we need a lot of it if we're going to be facing Gardenia this episode. I don't know if we will, but for now, let's go ahead and take on this Bird Keeper. As they have a Noctowl, this is perfect. I don't think I'll be able to... I'll be able to 2 a KO, but I'm not going to be able to kill it. Yeah, Icy Wind does not do the job here, and it goes for an extra Sensory, which shouldn't do too much. I lied, that did actually half. Wow. See... I'm a little worried because I feel like we're to the point where they're starting to catch up to us in levels again. I, I have not done any off-screen training at all because I'm trying to make this so that it's a little bit more challenging. And we have another battle here. It's actually one of those Rune Maniacs, I think. Yeah, Rune Maniac Harry. And I was going to say they usually have rock type, so I better be careful with Glaceon. He has an Aerodactyl. Are you kidding me? Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Hold the phone. Look at my team. Dude, it's because I deposited Finneon. Oh no. Bro, because I deposited Finneon for Swablu, I didn't even think this one through. Look at my team. Rock. Rock. Flying. Rock. Flying rock. If they have stabs, I'm screwed. I might actually get swept by this thing. I am for sure losing a Pokemon right now. The question is if I get swept and lose the Nuzlocke. 
Dude, I can't lose the Nuzlocke to a trainer, maybe to a gym leader, but not... Guys, I might have to do away with Swablu. And that sucks, because I got a decent nature on it. I was really... I was kind of ecstatic to get it. Like, Altaria being Dragon Fairy, being boosted in this game, that seemed fun. Alright, well, I don't want to sack that, but I have to sack something here. Something's gotta give. Dude, I'm gonna cry. I do not have a rock move. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. And they have Ancient Power. If they get the boost, they have another chance to get the boost. Let's go for it. Disarming boys. We're so cute. Thank god, I went for a wing attack. So we do sack our new, really cool nicknamed Pokemon Swablu, unfortunately. I, yeah, I, I had to make a, a business decision there, guys. I'm thankful that they didn't go for Ancient Power twice there, because if they get the boost, that that's a wrap. I am swept right then and there. So, at this point, I have to go into something that where they wouldn't Ancient Power, and that's really just going to be Grottle. Hold up, no, I have an idea. Okay, I'm going to go into Staravia, get the Intimidate off on Aerodactyl, give it minus one, pressure it into going for Ancient Power and not Wing Attack, and then switch into Grottle. Is that the play? I think that's gotta be. Now, he if he gets the boost, though, it's a wrap. Okay, that's at zero. Mm, wing Attack should do about double. Of that. Let's see. Dude, guys, I'm... I'm gonna have to curse once. I have a plan here. I'm gonna curse once. Because Wing Attack, the following turn, should not mean to Overgrow range. And with Overgrow, plus one attack, Bullet Seed should... Hopefully kill a stupid Aerodactyl. This is my only play. Do not crit me, I swear. Okay, I am in Overgrow range. I'm at plus one. That is doing no two times. Yes! If I had hit two times, I was losing another Mon. Imagine that. Oh my goodness. I almost lost two right there, y'all. Imagine if I only hit two times, I would have had to sack Grottle or whatever I want to sack, and then go into Monferno and Mach Punch. Ruin Ma Maniac, you ruined my life. You ruined my Swablu. Why are you here with your stupid Aerodactyl of all things, the one thing that counters my team? Are you kidding me? So we are here in the dead box at the funeral for Swablu, and unfortunately, it had to be sacrificed. It did, but it did last six minutes compared to Beldum's five, so it did a little better than that. <laughs> they really called him Ruin Maniac for a reason. Now I get it, man. All right, so we'll just put Gilbert back on for now, man. I really could have used Gilbert there. All right, y'all, so we are back in the Valley of Death which is this route, and really, I kind of don't even want to battle anyone anymore. I feel like I should just skip these trainers, but where's the fun in that? I know you guys want to see a challenge and all that stuff, so obviously I could easily go and train off screen in the grass, but that's lame. I want to be underleveled the way I am, and I actually am underleveled now. I'm officially underleveled. Everyone's at like 23-ish, and I have a ton of 20s, but that's just what makes it more fun. So I'm really Charmeleon. I wanted to get some more experience for the gym, Let's go ahead and talk to Homegirl over here. What the heck? Oh, okay, I got it the first time you said it. You didn't have to say it seven times. What, what is hap- like, what is actually happening? So you're not even a trainer. Ooh, okay. They gave us TMs. Sure, what is TM77? It's psych up, I suppose. Okay, that seems completely useless. I'm not stupid. I know that that's not an invisible item and I don't need to click on it. It's a trainer. But let's just go ahead and battle him anyways because I do want the training. But again, guys, I don't want to afford losing another member at this point, man. I already lost three now. Let's go for Ember on this ninja. That's going for double team. I swear, do not do this right now. <sighs> Y'all really want to see me rage for real. Speaking of Ray, well, no, Ember should still be better. Uh, yeah, it's just gonna plus six and I'm screwed. Dude, are you kidding me right now? Thankfully I hit, but I don't get the kill. I really need, I have Aerial Ace, hold up, I have Aerial Ace. I'm just gonna do that. I am not risking anybody right now, especially because Ninjas gets access to like dig and stuff like that. Not worth. Let's get the Intimidate off. Mind Reader, okay, does this, what the heck? What kind of moveset is this? Okay, I do have Aerial Ace, thank God. It goes for Fury Cutter, that should do zero. And we knock out Ninja. Man, like, this route is like on another level right now. I, I haven't had really much of a challenge until this route. The first encounter I found on this route was a Bagon. Are you kidding me? I could have had a Salamence? 
That was the first encounter if I had just waited for this Route 211 instead of the last. Man, I need to do better research, but no, we cannot get that, unfortunately. That was my first encounter when I was trying to get this ball over here. And it's a Firestone. Man, that is so disappointing. I actually could have gotten Bagon instead of Swablu, and maybe we wouldn't have even been in that scenario. Ah, no, nah, I probably would have lost Bagon anyways. All right, looks like we have a Black Belt over here. Let's go ahead and challenge them as well. It is Sean with a hair across. Bro, they have some really good Pokemon in this route. First Aerodactyl and then Heracross, and Heracross is my guy too. I need to really be careful with this because it could easily have like Rock Slide or Earthquake. Dude, this is hard, man. Yo, okay. So, look, I'm a fire type. I don't think it can kill me in one hit. Let's go for Ember and see what it has. It goes for Brick Break. I don't think that should kill me. Bro. Oh my goodness, that did so much. Mm, I'll go Siakam to get the Intimidate off. Same scenario here. Let's go for that first, and then we'll switch in something else as it went for Aerial Ace. Actually, that's fine then, because I can Aerial Ace you. I didn't even need to... Yeah, I, I don't know why I'm tripping. I didn't need to do the whole Intimidate thing when I'm a Flying type and I can just own you because you're a Heracross. Thank God I didn't lose a Pokemon there. It looks like we don't have a trainer here, but he says, Hey, you, and that's kind of rude. Just kidding. How would you like to have this tasty, nutritious Slowpoke tail? We back to second gen? For a million dollars. Yeah, we get the joke. It's a reference to gen 2. You'll want this. Yes. I thought kids were loaded. Yeah, because every, what, like 10-year-old kid walks around with a million dollars in their pocket. Yeah. You make a lot of sense, bud. All right, y'all, so if you go further into Mount Coronet, there is another exit here, and there's also some snow, so I'm pretty sure we're on the right track. We're supposed to get to Route 216, which is a snow route. Now, what's cool about this is I actually have a Glaceon on the team, and I can take advantage of the hail and use my snow cloak ability, so that's number one. Number two, this is a new route, so I can get another new encounter and make up for Swablu. Hopefully, we get something cool here. On top of that, it could be an ice type. It probably 99% of the time would be one. And we could use that against Gardenia. Now, I do see some grass here. There's also some trainers. Hopefully, they're not too crazy. But I do want to go ahead and find us an ice type. So let's see what our first encounter is. And it is a Snorunt. Sure, let's take it. Um, apparently, they did switch up Glalie a little bit in this game as well. So that sounds really cool. As Water Pulse shouldn't kill this, right? Like, there's no way. Oh my, that did a lot. Okay, so... Uh, just because it has Ice Body, I think Gust does not kill from this range. I'm going to go for that too, get it into red health, and then I'm going to go ahead and Pokeball it. Yes. Okay. Snorunt should not be that hard to catch. Come on, Gilbert. I don't like, actually, that Gilbert is um taking that much damage. I'm going to throw one ball, and then I'm going to have to switch. Let's just hope we catch it in one. It's a, it's a Snorunt, for Christ's sake. Come on. Two, three... Boom, we get it. I'm pretty sure just because this is a female Snorun, it will have to be a Frostlass. I'm not 100% sure on that. If it does become a Glalie, it'll be kind of awkward if I call it this, but we're gonna go with Elsa, because you guys know I love me some Disney princesses. I'm kidding, I just couldn't think of a better nickname. Uh, shout out to Frozen. <laughs> we'll go check that out later. They also did change Glalie, by the way. They made it Ice Rock, which sounds really cool, except kind of weak to fighting and stuff, but... I was gonna go with that, but I'm pretty sure that we will end up having Frost last since it's a female. I really have no idea why I'm doing this to myself at this point, but for your entertainment, I'm gonna go ahead and get some more battles. I'm pretty sure they're gonna be higher level than me now, and it's just not a good feeling to risk losing a Mon, especially because this is a Nuzlocke and everything, but yeah, see, 23 Porygon. Wow, that's pretty crazy. The good thing is, I actually led with my... Chimchar, or my Monferno rather, and I can actually hit it super effectively. So let's go for a Brick Break here. Maybe just knock it out? I got a crit. That probably mattered. I'm cool with it. <laughs> I don't care anymore. Give me my experience. And this hail is going to be annoying too. This is going to be a tough route to deal with. As they have a Vigoroth, I should definitely stay in on that. Although this is very scary. It can hit really hard. So let's go for a Brick Break. That's Uproar and... Oh my goodness, that's a special move, isn't it? Dang, that did so much. I know it's like stab and everything, but come on. All right, Mach Punch should be able to not... Does it? It better, dude. I swear if it doesn't. <sighs> Thank God for Iron Fist. Without Iron Fist, I don't think that would have killed. I don't know. It was close. Speaking of the snow, guys, we need to chill with the trainers that are popping up on this route because there's way too many. I haven't even gone up on those bridges yet. As this one straight up has a Togetic, and I cannot touch Togetic, like barely. Ember is the best thing I got, because it's going to be a Fairy-type, so I got to switch. 
Man, look at my squad. I, at least Glaceon will do work here with Snowcloak. And we just knock it out with Icy Wind. So Glaceon is going to be my saving grace. My saving Glace here for sure, guys. Trust me. I'm going to need it for this route. What else you got? Swallow. Ooh. I mean, obviously I do have Glaceon, but I'm trying to take a look at anything else. Yeah, no, I got to stay in. And Swallow is a problem because it's very fast. It's going to outspeed me and probably hit me with something crazy. Like a double team. Please don't miss. Please, I always miss, yep, I always miss Icy Wind. It's just, it's expected at this point. Ah, here we go. And they're going for plus two. Are you kidding me? If I lose to the Swallow, guys, I do manage to hit. Don't get greedy on me. Let's go. We do knock out Swallow. Man, this route is going to be way too difficult. And here's another person, and it looks like it's like a skier or something. I've only been skiing once. I'm really not good at it, so you can call me a novice all you want as they lead Snowver. Okay, there we go. Now we're starting to see some ice types. They, they had random types, man. I was... Hoping to train Charmeleon here. Finally, some free experience fodder for me. That is fantastic. Hail is annoying. Let's see what else you got. Swine up. Hmm. Just in case, like thick fat and it's a ground type and all that crap. Let's go to Gilbert. I know it sounds crazy because of the fact that I'm at like half health. I really shouldn't be doing this, but it's a swine up. Let's be real. Let me go for a water pulse. It should knock it out. I'm probably risking something here. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I really shouldn't risk anymore, man. As we're learning Psybeam. Okay, you know what? That actually might be good because of the fact that... Well, first of all, I don't think I need Gust, man. It, Gust is cool for grass types, but most of the grass types are part poison anyway, so Psybeam would do more regardless. So let's just do that. Cool, I didn't think that I could get Psybeam with this guy. As Snorunt is going to come out, and I do have Charmeleon. Let's go ahead and show off our new Dragon Claw TM that I just learned. Super dope animation. We get a new level as well. 222. And Firefang, finally something better than Ember. I'm turning into a physical Charmeleon, but that's fine. It should still be a lot stronger than Ember, so I'll take it. All right, y'all, so we get to the Snowbound Lodge, and it definitely says something about a bed, which means we should be able to heal, hopefully. Ah, there we go. Finally, I'm so glad that they have... This is the second rest house that they've had already. I really do appreciate that, and I think that's Gardenia right there. Anyways, oh hey, you're a trainer, that's awesome. I'm a trainer too. I'm trying to hone a powerful ice type technique. Okay, so we have to go back here with five badges, I guess, and maybe they'll give us something. That's cool. Oh wait, what? He heals us too? I guess there's two ways to heal in this house. Interesting. Oh hi, I'm Gardenia. I'm Eterna City's gym leader. Yes, I know who you are. Get back to the gym. Yes, I'm a challenger. Go! Not really. I had other things to do, but sure. Just for the heck of it, guys, I'm going to finish off most of these trainers here now so I can get some good experience for the gym. I'm pretty sure that's what you're supposed to be doing right now anyways. There is a Mr. Mime here. Uh, I think Firefang should be all right to just click. That didn't do jack to it, but... I don't think I can Dragon Rage it because I'm pretty sure this is part fairy in this ROM hack too. It mimics my Firefang, like... As if I could care less. And I do crit it. So that's really nice. Charmeleon, I need you to grow some crazy levels right now. 640 is a lot. Scyther, I'm going to stay in and go for another Fire Fang. Oh my... Strong! That is so strong. Do not... Hey, this thing gets Pursuit. Oh my goodness, man. This, this is some other level type of stuff. Thank God it doesn't go for Pursuit. Dude, don't crit. Oh my, this is way too stressful, man. Crit goes through the Intimidate too. I think, I'm actually kind of scared. Does Quick Attack even kill from this range? Because I don't think I outspeed. Let's go for a Quick Attack. Bro. <laughs> Dude, oh my goodness, man. This is another level of a challenge, really. We almost lost two Pokemon right there to a Scyther. A Scyther is a good Pokemon, so. Dude, that, what if Hail killed me here, man? Nuzleaf, I, I have to switch. I do have Glaceon, thank goodness. So I'm really prepared for grass types. It's just some other types, man. Like that Aerodactyl from earlier and stuff like that, that just really gets to me. As we're just going to finish this off with an Icy Wind. Skip that real quick and get to level 25. And get Aurora Beam, which is better than Icy Wind. It is, because it's uh, base 75 apparently in this game. Oh, heck yeah, I'm deleting that. Icy Wind could come in clutch with the whole speed drop and stuff like that, but... I mean, let's be real. I, I don't really need that. So if you want to keep going, these guys actually block it. So that's as far as we can go. Let's just go ahead and train against the rest of the trainers in this route. And we will go back and face 
Gardenia. So I just realized that you can't actually access what's going on up there with that skier and the items and stuff like that. So we will do this later after Mount Coronet probably and we can just go ahead and challenge the gym now. All right, you guys. So we are finally back and I am ready to take on this Eterna City gym. And the reason why I say I'm ready is because fine, I did lie to you guys a little bit. I ended up doing a tad bit of off-screen training. Don't crucify me, guys. It's just because of the fact that I was getting destroyed by those route trainers. I'm, I was feeling like a noob, so I really want to train my guys up for this gym because how am I going to lose to route trainers and then stand a chance against a gym leader? So what I decided to do, I did level everyone up about three to four levels each and even them out. So I have 27s and 28s. And then of course there's Bronzor too, which I'm catching up on right now. He's got the XP share, but really I just felt like it was better to use him than Finneon. I'm not going to use Finneon at a grass gym, so it has no ice move or anything like that. Let's go ahead and take a look at some changes. So I did mainly change my Monferno because it learned Flamethrower at level 27, which is really cool. And on top of that, I also got Fake Out, which can always come in handy. So I really do like my double priority on this. That's going to be a really good move set. Any other changes? I got Extra Sensory and the Never Melt Ice on Glaceon. So that's going to help boost its ice moves. And then on top of that, I have some coverage with Extra Sensory now. This is my Bronzor. Uh, it has Hypnosis and Extra Sensory as well. So. What's up with extra sensory being on every mod? But yeah, it's uh, it's gonna be really good to use against grass types. So that's the squad now, guys. I know maybe I did over level. I don't, I don't think I did because I don't know what Gardenia's levels are. But if the route trainers were like around twenty three, I feel like Gardenia's probably in the high twenties, if not the thirties, the early thirties. So I don't think I over leveled at all. But that being said, I know you guys like a challenge. So oh, I remember this gym. This is the gym where there's the whole leaves that make the clock and they revolve around when you um, battle people and then they move until you can finally reach Gardenia. So basically it's a long way of saying you gotta battle everybody, which we will do. So let's go ahead and battle this trainer first. We already know what's coming. There's gonna be a bunch of grass types and the first one that they start off with is, is a low tat level 22, wow. That's interesting. I thought these gym trainers would be a lot higher level, maybe like 25. I don't even need to flame her, yeah, because I was seeing those route trainers and they were crazy good. So what's up with that? As Bronzor gets another level, I do have the XP share on it as well. Cacnea, I'll just, I mean, I'll just stay in. I, this is kind of weird. Like I thought that they would be insanely high level because the other, I don't know why I, why did I brick break there? I have flamethrower literally. Um, now I'm at minus one accuracy, so I got to switch. But yeah, we, we were facing some crazy hard stuff. Like what's going on with this? Hey, I'll take it though. I will definitely take it. Um, this actually is not a good move on my part because Fire Fang effect spore could be a thing. Hopefully I don't like fall asleep or something. And I don't, which is great. And execute is last. Let's just stay in. I hate that Fire Fang has that 5% chance of missing, man. It gets me sometimes, but for now we're looking good. So this trainer was light work. Hopefully the rest of the gym trainers aren't this easy. But last Caroline, you were a joke. Anyways, this gym's 4 o'clock. You can walk on its hands. That's how you get to the next trainer. Okay, yeah. So we definitely remember this. I think anyone who played this game once definitely remembers this because it takes forever for the clock to rotate or whatever it's called. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and go right next over here and battle her. So yeah, I guess the gym trainers are easy, but I'm not going to let my guard down. Remember, the boss battles are the really hard ones in this game. I do not think I overleveled at all. In fact, I could be underleveled if anything. Uh, I really think that they changed the gym leaders the most, the gym trainers or whatever. Uh, but a lot of people were telling me Gardenia is going to be insanely hard. A lot of people said that they ended their Nuzlocks on her and stuff like that. So I really got to be careful. I do have so many good typings against her though. I feel like I cannot lose this. It would be very embarrassing if I did. Anyways, Gloom is last. Let's mess around and use Bronzor. Let's let's check out our Bronzor in action because I haven't really... um even used it yet. I've just been using XP share on it. Let's go for that extra sensory as they go for a lucky chant, which is fine. This should do a lot, but it probably won't kill. Dang, this thing is really weak. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know if I like Bronzo. It's here for defensive purposes. It, it's it's the Tony Allen of the team. It's the Andre Roperson. Like, I'm definitely not going to be hitting threes on, with this guy. <laughs> Anyways, let's go for extra sensory. And it'll just be like a 4-hit KO, it's fine, whatever. As long as it's sleeping, I'm good. I just think it's funny how weak this thing is, though. <laughs> and I don't think it becomes a Bronzong anytime soon, either. Like, I remember specifically how long it took Bronzor to evolve. I think it was like, in the late 30s, or maybe like mid-30s. But whatever, we do get a kill with Bronzor, I can die happy now. And it gets another level, so that's always good. Yeah, look at my attacking stats, they're so bad. They're so bad. 
And we learn Iron Defense. That could be actually decent, but... I just realized Sidewave could have been even doing more damage. Uh, nah, let's pass on Iron Defense. I already have enough. I'm good. And we defeat Jenna here, so let's go ahead and see that Floral Clock. Oh, that's cute. So they... the Oh, the fountain! Okay, okay, that works. So now this fountain's gonna go away so we can go back. I get it. That's really, really well designed by the Eterna City engineers, or whoever designed this. But anyways, let's go ahead and get another battle. This is Angela with a Roselia. So they're going up a little bit in level and in skill, but really... It's always going to be a joke playing these people. It's really going to come down to Gardenia and her Pokemon. So Roselia just drops easily. And speaking of Roselia, we know what, um, what's her name? Gardenia's ace is going to be. It's definitely 100% going to be Roserade. And hopefully I can take that on well with my guys. I really wish I had Flame Wheel 2 on Monferno because I would love to hit it on the physical side. But it's all good. Skip Bloom's going to come out. I do have something for you. I have my Glaceon which can Icy win you. No, I don't even have Icy win anymore. I have Aurora Beam, which is even better. And again, Glaceon's going to be doing work too. So I have a really good team against this gym. I feel like I'm like counter teaming her straight up, but that's part of the whole entire thing. That's what you're supposed to do. So anyways, all we got left is the gym leader. So I'm going to go ahead and heal. We can watch this clock do its final thing. And then we're going to go ahead and challenge Gardenia, guys. It is time to face the second gym leader of this walkthrough so far, guys. I'm really excited. As I said, in Renegade Platinum, they really focus on these boss battles. So they're not supposed to be easy. But that being said, guys, look at my team. I am ready to take on some grass types. I'm ready to bully Gardenia. Let's go ahead and do it. I have no idea what she's going to lead off with, but I think Monferno's just fine. Worst case scenario, I fake out too. So that should definitely be a thing. Anyways, you kept me waiting. I'm eternal... You can, excuse me? We were waiting for you to get back. What are you talking about? Ooh, she wants to pull that? Oh, no mercy. Let's go. The heck? Of course. What? She's not making sense. Of course I know how to get back. I got there. I got that far. What? Do you think I'm lost or something? I'm actually offended, Gardenia. All right. Let's, let's beat her up real quick. Let's beat up her Pokemon. As she leads with Blossom, which actually has pretty high spadef. So I'm a little bit concerned, but you know what? It should be fine if we have Fake Out. Let's do that first. And I got a crit, and that did nothing. She's level 25, actually. So you know what? I did not overlevel at all, guys. I did not. I really didn't. Oh, boy. Um, I don't think this kills. Hopefully it doesn't sleep me, because if I get slept, that would be a huge concern. I'm considering going into one of these and keeping this for later, but... Let's just chance it. I think Flamethrower might be able to kill. Let's try it. I feel like it's going to live, but we'll see. Oh my goodness! How dare I underestimate Pimpanzi? How dare I? As it grows to level 28 too, that's going to be very helpful. Oh, oh, okay, my bad. Gardena is just going to bring out her ace right now, which is Roserade. I mean, I feel like Siakam is going to be the way to go because of the fact that its defense isn't as high as its spadef, the, the Roserade. So I think Siakam is definitely my play. I'm surprised she's sending it out this early. When she hasn't even weakened my team. And 26. Okay, so I'm only two levels higher. It's really not that big of a deal. I do have the Aerial Ace, guys. So let's go ahead and click that. As she is faster and goes for a Sludge and gets the Poison. And she survives. And unfortunately for me, she has a Citrus Berry. So I can't Quick Attack. Oh, snap. I got a Switch. So Siakam is pretty much useless for the rest of the game. I cannot believe it took that Aerial Ace that well. And on top of that, that Sludge did so much. I think they did boost Sludge a little bit. But, you know what I'm thinking, unless she has some BS HP fire, Bronzor might actually wall Roserade, and a lot of her team too, so we predict the sludge there. I don't think Extra Sensory is going to do crap, I think Gyro Ball would do more, so let's click that. As Yeah, she's only got Magical Leaf, Bronzor is the answer, even though that Magical Leaf did do a lot. That did not- oh my goodness, that did zero. I think Psywave might do more, as unfortunately she does have the Super Potion there. Whoa, that was huge damage! I don't want to risk a Hypnosis miss. I'll go for another side wave here. I just need damage on this guy. I should have probably Hypnosis. Okay, so she's going for Magical Leaf. I don't know how much it's doing. Let's see. So it did... That would be 46 damage twice. So that would be 23. Ah, oh, that's too close to call. I can't let this die. So what I'm going to do is... On the Magical Leaf, I can just predict that. Go straight into my Monferno and just fake out and kill it. I'm pretty sure. So let's do that. What if she predicts my switch like a madman, though? 
Okay, good. She goes for a magical leap here. And on the off chance that maybe her Roserade has like extra sensory or some crap like that, I'm just going to fake out. No point in letting it outspeed me. So we're going to go ahead and knock out her ace. That's great for me. Share all the love between my Pokemon and LeBronzong is level 26. She's got a Grottle now. It's going to have Bulldoze, so I do not want to risk that. I would rather go into my Glaceon here. So this is definitely not a battle where we, we want to mess around. She's clearly got some threats. But Grottle is really not that threatening when I have a Glaceon with Never Melt Ice. Let's go ahead and Aurora Beam. I'm pretty sure this should knock it out clean. Yes, sir. This is my ace right here. Glaceon was in the back ready to take on her Monza. She has Breloom, so never mind. That is not going to do it for me. I think Charmeleon is going to be the way to go against this Breloom. Dang, Gardenia really isn't playing with these Mons. Uh, let's go ahead and Fire Fang this, obviously, as... Whoa! Technician! Wow. Oh my goodness, that did so much. Oh, crap! That actually did an insane amount, and obviously I can't switch in Glaceon, so we're going to have to go Grottle here. That has to be Technician Mach Punch. It ha that's doing way too much damage. And I actually don't know if Seed Bomb kills. I hope it does. It is resisted. And she goes for Spore, dang it. Oh no, I might lose something to this for real. I did have to. I guess unless I get a first turn wake here. I do not. Uh-oh, yep. I was talking crap and we're going to have to lose a Mon here. It's going to have to be Bronzor. <laughs> Man, it just sucks because I trained it up and it was looking pretty good, but I don't see it doing much in the future, so... I do have to... <laughs> I have to sack him on, guys. Sorry. It's going to have to be Bronzor. Well, it was nice knowing you. How many Pokemon am I going to get where I get them and then within five minutes they die? That's another one right there. But I had to do it for the greater good. Uh, let's just go into my Monferno now. And uh, just go for Fake Out. Fake Out is just such a good move. And worst case scenario, that really doesn't... Wow, that was weak. I can Mach Punch the following turn, and since I'm naturally faster, they can't Mach Punch me first. Dang, don't play! We better watch out Tangela. I'm pretty sure it's just better to go Glaceon, since Chimchar- not Chimchar, Monferno is at half only. I don't want it to have some random move, so let's go for Aurora's Aurora Beam here. It's probably gonna have Sleep Powder. I don't know if this kills, because Tangela's a little bulky. Just kidding, Glaceon's insane. Wow. You are amazing, and Cherum is your last. I should be okay. It's a Cherum. I don't know. Somehow, they, I'm sure they buffed it, so I better be careful with this. But let's go for a Roar Beam. I should be fine. I'm faster. It should easily 2 a KO, but it doesn't Oko. It did not Oko because she has a Focus Sash. And she goes for Sunny Day, but you know what? I have Ice Shard, so game over. That's game. That's cute. I like your Cherum. It, it's, it's cute and all, but hey, bud. Uh, yeah. No! She had Super... No! But I'm faster anyways, I think. I don't think that thing has, like, chlorophyll. Oh, it doesn't even matter because Ice Shard will knock it out the following turn. So good try, Gardenia. That is going to be game. Again, guys, I was very prepared for this, and she still took a Mon. I not only... Okay, I didn't over-level. I wouldn't say I over-leveled, but I definitely have, like, five members that are super effective against her. Like, five. And I still lost almost three of my members. So that was not easy. I'm telling you guys, this ROM hack is not going to be easy at all in the later stages. But anyways, I might have said it before, but you're really tough. Wasn't it hard for you to raise your Pokemon to be so good? Not really, because they're like level 20-something. I don't know what you're talking about. But anyways, sure. Go ahead and give me that Forest Badge. Yes, sir. Let's update the layout real quick. We are now at two badges. I feel like this game has gone on for a long time, and I'm only at two, but we can use Cut now. It's always good. And we got TM86. What the heck is that? I have no idea. Grass? Not. Okay, we can actually teach that to a couple members. So that's very cool. And now the clock is going to strike 6 o'clock. Is that 6 o'clock? Yeah, that's 6 o'clock. I almost embarrassed myself there. Ooh, someone's poisoned. Oh, it's Siakam. But you know what? It doesn't matter because they survived the poison anyways at 1 HP. In fact, I can even show you guys. Just so you know, I'm not cheating the uh, Nuzlocke here. And Siakam survived the poisoning. The poison faded away. So now it is at 1 HP so that... I feel like they did that for Nuzlocke or something, I swear. <laughs> All right, you guys. Anyways... We did get our second badge. We're going to have to deposit our Bronzor, unfortunately, into the dead box. We had another two. I feel like every time I do gym episodes, I lose two Mons. I feel like, because last time we lost uh, Bronzor, or not Bronzor, uh, Beldum and Rhyhorn, and now we lost Swablu and Bronzor. So that is now four deaths already, which is pretty crazy. But... Rest in peace, Bronzor. Hey, you were cool for that Roselle. Hey, honestly, he took on the ace 
Roserade of Gardenia. So I cannot complain about that. But anyways, guys, it is time to put Gilbert right back in. And maybe even Rotom could get some love. We'll see. I don't even know who the next gym leader is. I'll have to do some research. And then we'll figure out the typings from there. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. It was a really fun one to do. Make sure to leave a like if you did, guys. It really does help me out. Remember, we do have that like goal. And I'll see you guys next time. Deuces.